Jack, thank you for taking time with us off the block block. Uh, congratulations on the sweep of uh, Grand Canyon. Thank what you. are your initial impressions on the match? Yeah, I mean, we, we came in uh, knowing it's going to be a tough team to play because whenever you go into playoffs, everyone kind of ramps it up a bit. But uh, yeah, you just can't underestimate a team like that. And, and we played cohesive from point one. And uh, we hit a couple mental reps along the way, but we were able to bounce out of it. So it was a good match from, from point to finish. So. Well, let's talk, uh, there's a couple of storylines within the match. Uh, one of them was serving. Um, is there anything different about serving here at uh, North Gym versus uh, at Galen Center? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, for one, the hoops. Uh, this one, I think it's only like 20 feet high, so you can't toss. It's six, six foot distance within the middle of the court, which is tough. And then just depth perception as well. You look up and it's, you know, it's a couple hundred feet versus whatever this is, 100 feet. So it's definitely a difference in, in the back walls and everything. So this is fun, though. It's like a high school gym. So It's also fun to have the crowd right on you. Yeah, a lot of fun. Like I said, it's like a high school gym. and. You have 300 people here, and it feels like a full house. Versus at Galen, it feels like no one's there. So, but at the same time, at Galen Center, it's 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 nice because you have the proximity of the locker room and the convenience factor and stuff like that. So we have to walk across campus for uh, when we play here, but it, it's it's fun. I like playing here. I don't want to do it every match, but <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, the other storyline was how you guys closed out set one and set three. Set one, you finish on the nine one run. Set three, you uh, finished the match on the nine three run. What was the uh, key to uh, finishing out strong with those uh, two sets? Uh, we, we just took away their tendencies and played played good defense. Uh, nothing too nothing too tough. Uh, we, were, we were also serving pretty well too. We, we kept it pretty consistent. Sam was a great server for us tonight. So was Gian. So was Moss. Uh, we, we didn't have too many mistakes. I, I haven't checked the stat sheet thus far, but from what I remember, we, we kept it pretty consistent throughout. And then, yeah, we just took away their tendencies. So. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about set three. Uh, set three, you uh, went down with an injury. What happened there? Uh, Douglas and I just kind of collided a little bit. We, we clashed in the serve, and he just kind of kicked me in the ear, so it just kind of rattled my head a little bit, but it's, it's all good. You'll be good to go for the uh, summer finals? I'm good to go. Nice. And then uh, also in set three, obviously Grand Canyon probably had the most competitive match. What were they doing uh, in set three that they, they were not doing in the first two sets? Yeah, I, I think... Nothing too, nothing too different. I think they just realized uh, their, the match was on the line. Um, we took our foot off the gas a little bit, but definitely credit to them. They just, they just ramped it up a notch, and the intensity went up from their side. And from serving and passing to hitting to defense, whatever it was, everything just kind of <laughs> it took it up a couple levels, and their intensity fired up. But we did a good job of uh, of having. Um, having a balance and having an attack to whatever they threw at us, so. You had 11 uh, kills on the night. Uh, what, was, what, what were your teammates doing to help you uh, get in the position to uh, terminate the ball? We just passed well. I mean, it, it wasn't too crazy of a night for any of us, but the set distribution was really good, so that just opened up everything. We just kind of pumped the middle, and the blockers were kind of in disarray, and uh, I'm sure Moss and Gion were kind of around that as well. But as a whole, I'm sure we, we had a pretty good hitting percentage, just starting with our passing. You know, you pass a good, good ball, it's, it's pretty easy to score from there. So. As of uh, right now, we don't know what the outcome of the UCLA Concordia matches, but most likely we'll be playing UCLA in the semifinals. Um, what are your emotions of playing them in any rematch just after playing them last week uh, at Gillington? Uh We're really excited. I mean, it's... It's about as good of a match we can ask for. Those are the matches you want to play. It's you know, we split with them this season, and having a neutral a neutral ground for us to play at, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a battle. We're, we're really excited for that. I mean, they they got a lot of good players on their team, and it's um, yeah, it's just playing them at home. We, we saw what kind of uh, what kind of team they are, and how competitive they are, and, and what to expect from them. And it's it's gonna be a battle for sure. Okay. Congratulations on the sweep of, uh, of Grand Canyon, and uh, good luck uh, next week at uh, NPSF Semifinals. Appreciate that.